What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a one page website on WordPress using Elementor. Now let me go ahead and minimize my screen here. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is edit our um, home page using Elementor. Now you can either you can either do that by clicking the um, edit with Elementor bar up here or you can head over to your dashboard and go into pages and click on um, go on your home page and click on edit with Elementor. Now, if you don't know what Elementor is, it's basically a page builder and uh, you can just go ahead and install that in your plugins here. It's called Elementor um, and you can just start from there. So let's go into pages and let's edit this with Elementor. And we already have our website set up. The only thing that we need to do is of course, make this a one pager so if we were to go ahead and check out our website we could click on these and you would notice that they don't go anywhere right so we need to make sure that these um, can scroll down to the specific area on the page so let's go ahead and add our um our uh, scrolling um ids So right here, this one is going to be our service area. So you're going to want to click on this section here and then head over to advance. And then you see where it says um, CSS ID. I believe it says CSS ID. I have this blocking it right now, but I believe it says CSS ID. And in the CSS ID, you're going to want to you're going to want to name um, your ID. And that's basically going to correspond with um, whatever the, the menu is, um, whatever the menu name is. So for this example, it is um, services. So whenever people click on services, I want it to scroll down to this area here. So let's go ahead and just um, type in services here. Okay, and then that's where that's gonna scroll down. Now the next spot is gonna be about, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this section because this looks like it would be an about page, in about, sorry, an about section. And then head over to advance and same thing there. We're just going to want to name um, the section and we're going to call that about on the CSS ID. And the last one is going to be the Instagram. Now that usually is a contact us page, but since I don't have a contact um, area down here, um, I'm just going to go ahead and use my Instagram feed. Now I do have a video on creating a contact form um, on my channel. So make sure to check that out and you can probably end up setting up a contact form section. So this is my Instagram feed and I'm going to go ahead and actually add an um, add uh, the CSS ID to that. And I'm going to name that um, Instagram. Now, if you don't know how to add an Instagram feed to your WordPress website, I do have a video on that on my channel. So you can go ahead and check that out. All right. So now that I have those CSS IDs added, I'm going to go ahead and click update. And you know what? I'm actually going to adjust this part here. I'm actually going to, yeah, let me go ahead and go into the, the main page here. And I want to adjust my header color, actually. So head over to your header, because that's basically the next, the next step there. Um, now, I'm using Elements Kits um, to edit my header, but you might be using Ele uh, Elementor Pro. So you can either uh, just go on Element, you can either just go to Templates and then go on Theme Builder and then edit um, header with Elementor or if you're using elements kits or a header footer builder, you can do that as well and then just edit your header. Um, and now if you don't know how to create an elementary header, I have a bunch of videos on that on my channel. Um, so make sure to check that out. Okay, so now let's just edit with Elementor there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and actually um, adjust this real quick. So I'm just gonna adjust the, let's see, go into, should be in, where is it here? Um, okay, so an active. So you see how whenever whenever someone clicks on a certain section or it scrolls down to a certain section, I want it to turn yellow. So I just wanna make sure that it turns some sort of yellow. Actually, it probably would be better if I grab um, the yellow from my website, so just so then it's accurate. And I'm going to add that yellow on the active. Now you will see why I'm adding that there. 
So now go ahead and update that and now head over um, to your uh, to your menu here in appearance. Now if you're not if you're not editing um, your your uh, header with Elementor that's fine. Just as long as you're editing your website with Elementor that should also work as well. Um, and you know what? You can also do that with uh, with the Gutenberg um, editor as well. Just go ahead and add the CSS ID to that. Um, but this is mainly for Elementor here. So what you're gonna do here is actually the URL. We're gonna go ahead and add a number sign. I do believe that's what it's called. And we're gonna type in services here. And then on the about, we're gonna go ahead and type um, the uh, the number sign's already there, and then we're gonna go ahead and type about on the URL, and also on the Instagram, same thing there. Oops, let's not leave this page, and let's go ahead and type in Instagram in front of the dollar, uh, the number sign, and then let's go ahead and uh, it can be done on both anyway. Just click save changes, make sure that's saved, and then let's head over to our website and let's see if that worked. Okay, so as you can tell, it's letting us know why it's yellow here that, that we're on the home page. So um, if I were to click on the services, it would scroll down to the services, you can tell, and the about, scroll down to the about, and the Instagram, it'll scroll down to the Instagram, right? So that's already all set up there. And um, I did want to show this. Let's say for some reason, because we're clicking on Insta, we're clicking on services, right? And it kind of does go a little bit lower. Um, what you could do is you can actually add um, the CSS ID probably to maybe the button and then it could probably scroll down to about right here. That's usually what happens. Um, or you can add another section. So let me actually show you what I mean. Um, so what you can do instead is actually go ahead and uh, add a section here and then maybe add in uh, add a, sp a uh, spacer here. Whatever you want to do, I mean, you don't necessarily, you know what, you don't even need to add the spacer, so, but you can add it, I'm just going to go ahead and make that a little bit smaller there, and then I'm going to go ahead and go into section, and I'm going to add the, I, the mm -hmm. CSS ID in here, and this was the services, right, so I'm going to add the services ID in here, and I'm going to remove it off of this one, and I'm going to click update, and now let's go ahead and see if that worked. Now there probably will be a little bit more spacing in there, but that's fine, you know, just so then it can it can uh, be a little bit better. So, yeah. Now, like I said, you can also use a button as well. So even the button as well. Let's see, that's not working that properly. Sometimes it just doesn't work that well. I mean, we kind of kind of want more space, right? So can e we can even do the button too as well. Oops, that's a home. Let's go to here. Okay, there we go. Now that works as well. Honestly, I feel like that works really well. I mean, I would have liked it a little bit like this, but you know what? That tends to work too. So, um, I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, if it did, make sure to subscribe and like the video. It will be greatly appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.